Welcome to our video devotional for Tuesday, June the 20th, 2017. We're in Psalm 119, verse 57. We're talking about the Word of God, and this chapter just talks, every verse speaks about the testimonies, the words, the precepts of God. Here's what it says in verse 57, Psalm 119. You are my portion, O Lord. I have said I would keep your words. What is your portion in life? We might use another word. What is your inheritance or where is your inheritance at? If you grew up in a fairly large family like I did, then my portion at the dinner table came in third at best. Dad was first, my older brother was second, and I was next in line. <clears throat> and mom, she just bowed out. Isn't that like most moms? They just bow out a lot of times, let the kids and dad have, have the best. What's your portion in life today? If you look at our, our culture that we live in, it seems the portion for mo most folks is entertainment. We work hard for 40 hours or more, and we want to enjoy ourselves after that. Whatever brings self-gratification is our portion. <clears throat> we will spend as much of our time and money on things that we enjoy and bring us pleasure. David declares the Lord is his portion. What a powerful declaration. So many people are in denial today about the spiritual nature of man. Many tell us that, well, here's how, here's how I connect with my spiritual uh, part of me, my spiritual being in me. I, I get out in nature as if nature was God. And what does it mean I, I really connect with God in nature? Nature's not spiritual. No matter what guru in the world declares this, nature is not spiritual. Singing streams in flowery meadows, towering hills, shiny stars, beautiful phenomena, shifting scenes of splendor. David says cannot satisfy me. Books don't fill me. I'm a spiritual being. And only the spiritual can meet my mighty longings. I'm in, I am immortal and only the eternal can be enough for me. Nothing earthly can ever be enough for me. Haven't you discovered this yourself? What would you consider the greatest thrill you've ever had in your life? And when it's over with, it's just done. Oh, you might have the memory and you might repeat it and oh, you might just tell that story over and over again. But afterwards, it isn't fulfilling enough. Something something in you thirsts for more. I've got to beat the last time I had. I've got to go to a, a further visit. I've got to hike further. I, I've got to catch a bigger fish. I've got to kill a bigger buck or whatever it might be. The songwriter states it like this. Only Jesus can satisfy my soul. Nothing less. Nothing more. David says, my flesh and my heart fail me, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever in Psalm 73, 26. When we know where the strength of our life lies, we will make intentional and lasting investment there. This is why the psalmist states that he will keep God's words. The word of God brings nourishment to our weary soul. It inspires the spirit of man. It breathes life into our being. Jesus spoke about the words of life like this in Matthew 4, 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That's why I love the word of God so much. The word of God is life and sustenance and strength and hope for us. Is the Lord your portion? Are you satisfied with God? Have you found his life-sustaining words? Have you made your greatest investment in him? Have you rested securely in his words? What a mighty blessing in life to have the Lord be our portion. Thank you. Thank you, God, for being our portion. I want to challenge you today to make God your inheritance. May the highest percentage of your life be in him. Let's pray together. Father, I, I thank you.
that I can say today you're my portion. And I really believe that I need to increase my investment in you to sit longer at your feet, to drink deeply at your wells. I praise you that you are God and God alone. And I pray your blessing today to fall upon all those who keep your words, knowing that the greatest inheritance we have is in the Lord our God. We praise you today and bless your mighty name. Thank you for your word. Amen. Have a blessed and powerful day.